Okay, we said we're going to do this example for you now, and uh, let's do so. Okay, so here we can see uh, from the very beginning it's probably ideal, since it's such a big problem, to just do multi-steps in each step. So in my first step, I'm not just going to tip in times, but I'm also going to factorize. So this is a divide. It might look like a plus. It's a divide sign. Okay, but I'm going to change that into a multiply and swap it around. But in that very same step, I'm going to factorize. So this is going to go into two brackets. What times what gives me 8? And when I add it, I get negative 6. That is obviously negative 2 and negative 4. Okay, that gives me positive 8 when I multiply them. But when I add them together, I get negative 6. Okay, divided by, and what about this one? Can this one factorize? Okay, and we no notice that it can because it is the difference of two squares. And that makes it 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3. If you don't know how to factorize this, please refer to some of the previous videos. This is a multiplication sign, so I just changed the multiply for my convenience. Oh, and here we go with one of those dreaded ones with a coefficient in front. This one as well. First we try and see if we can't take it out as a common factor. Unfortunately, we have uneven numbers here. Uh, odd numbers, I mean, uh, here as well. So that's not going to work. The same in this in this one. Okay, so we are going to have to use our cross method for that. So let me do my cross method here at the bottom. At least it's 2. So I, need, I, I know it should be 2x okay, um, and x. I just don't know what should the rest of the numbers be. So this is either 2 and 1. And now we must just see, okay, well, it's 2 and 1, so what must the other one be? It's either 1 times 15, 3 times 5, or 5 times 3, or 15 times 1. Okay, it depends. Okay, so what are we trying to get to is positive 7. That's a negative, which means that when I multi cross multiply, one must be a positive and one must be a negative. So I'll get a positive and a negative answer. The biggest one must be positive because I must get positive 7. Okay, so uh, let's see. 2 times 15 gives me 30. Minus 1 is 29, so that doesn't work. Okay, it's not that one. 2 times 5 is 10. Minus 3, that's going to work. 10 minus 3, that was easy. Okay. So, trial and error sometimes does get it fast. So, it's 2 times positive 5 to give me the positive 10, and 1 times negative 3 to give me negative 3. So, it's 2x minus 3, and 1x plus 5. Good. That was for that one. Now, for this, this one here. So, for that one there, we also need uh, the cross method. So on this side I might have it is 1 times 4 or 2 times 2 or 4 times 1 it can be any one of those okay on this side since I've got it both directions here I only need one direction for this one so either 1 times 4 or 2 times 2 okay what I'm this say this time I'm trying to get 15 it's negative 15 and it must be different signs because that's a negative. So one is going to be minus, the other one is going to be plus. I put the negative on top because my final answer is negative, so I'm going to put the larger one first. Okay, so larger one, one times four and four times one goes, both gives me four, so when I subtract them, I get zero, so that's not going to work. Now one times two gives me two, four times two is eight. 8 minus 2 gives me uh, 6. That doesn't work. Okay, so I tried this one with both. It didn't work. Now, 2 times 4 gives me 8. 2 times 1 gives me 2. So, um, using this one, that would give me 6 again. It doesn't work. Okay, so now 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. When I subtract them, I get 0. So, this one doesn't work either with any of them. Okay, so it seems to be one of the last ones. 4 times 4 is 16. 1 times 1 is 1. So 16 plus 1. That one works. Okay, I suppose there might have been an easier way to saw, to, to have seen that. Okay, but I did it. So just using the systematic approach. Takes long. I do apologize. Okay, uh, this time 
we have a negative 16, so it's 4 times negative 4, 1 times positive 1. That gives me 4x plus 1. 4x plus. No, where am I? Yes, that's one. 4x plus 1, and then x minus 4. Good. Here I come to my divide sign, which changes to a positive and uh, multiply. Granted that I swap these two around. Now the, the numerator goes to the denominator, and I can factorize it in that same step. It's okay if I do that. What time? What? What multiply? Uh, gives me negative 10 and add it gives me positive 3. Uh, I know that to be 5 and negative 2. So that one is very easy and very quick. But now I must get this thing. Okay, so I've got I've got 1 and 1. The 1 and 1 can just be 1 and 1. Okay, so this is definitely... Actually, you can look at this almost as a reverse of these ones. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a little clue into this one. Since since this one is just one, it's kind of the coefficient. So look at it as a uh, cx squared plus bx plus a. It's almost a reverse. And now I can find what times what gives me 16. And when I add it, I get 8. Well, that's 4. 4x, 4x plus 1, plus 1. Okay, I don't know if you got that, but I'm sure you get the, the, the cross method and you would be able to do it. So hopefully some of you could gain a little bit of insight into that. Okay, so when this one is 1, you kind of just treat it almost, almost as a reverse. Okay, so let's go and cancel common factors. There's loads of them. So, for example, here's an x negative 2, and there is an x negative 2 in the denominator. You can only cancel, obviously, something in the numerator with something in the denominator. We have an x minus 4 here, which we can cancel with that one. We have a 2x minus 3 here that can cancel with that one. We have an x plus 5 that can cancel. And uh, then we have a 4x plus 1 that can cancel. And uh, that seems to be it, so that in the end I'm left with 4x plus 1 over 2x plus 3. Please remember, this is the final answer. There's no way of simplifying this any further. But you can look at uh, whether you've, you you can't maybe factorize some more. In our case, we did all the factorizing. But that's it. Let's go and um, uh, practice some of these on our own now.